Welcome to the second part of the CSGO settings video. In the previous video we talked about the mouse settings that we recommend for a comfortable game in CSGO. The link to the video is in the description. Today we're going to talk about the video settings, which parameters may give you an advantage over your opponent, and which will only lower your FPS and totally useless. You will learn this right now. That was very nice. Incorrect video settings can not only lower your FPS value, but also create additional distractions that can interfere with your concentration on the gameplay. To prevent this, you must configure each parameter correctly. In the game settings, there is a video tab. This is the section where we will make changes. First, set a full screen mode. In window mode or window without a frame, the game will work slower. It's checked by a lot of guys. It's not for us to lose FPS. Next comes the choice of display mode. We recommend putting a monitor because we use exactly the monitor. We will not recommend anything about the screen resolution. Just set what you like and how it's more comfortable for you. We can only say that in 4-3 to three character models are a bit wider and larger than slightly helps you to aim. But there are also disadvantages. For example, you will not see what is happening from the side. Sometimes it could be crucial. Global Shadow Quality This parameter is responsible for handling shadows. It makes a very noticeable difference in places where you can see the movement of the opponent by his shadow. The better it is, the more convenient it is for us. So we recommend that you turn the setting to high. Also, it doesn't reduce FPS much. Let's go next. Model Texture Detail It improves the quality of textures but it will significantly lower your FPS. We advise to set it to the minimum. Set Texture Streaming to Enabled, a useful value that will remove the lag in the game if you're playing with HDD instead of SSD. Effect Detail and Shader Detail. Together, these two parameters help you see better through the fire. For a better example, we have set all possible combinations of these settings, and the best result is obtained when both parameters have a high value. Boost Player Contrast option should be enabled. It is a very useful feature that was added recently specifically to make the character models not so much blend with the map textures. Multicore rendering should definitely be enabled. It will allow the game to work faster on your PC. Multi-sampling anti-aliasing mode. This setting smooths the corners of textures in-game, but also it eats enough FPS. In our opinion, it is much more enjoyable to play with this value enabled, so feel free to put 8x if you have a good enough PC. FXAA anti-aliasing value enabled. Texture filtering mode, we recommend you setting a bilinear one, because the difference in levels is insignificant but FPS is lowering hard. Wait for vertical sync, must be disabled. It is just some terrible function that lowered my FPS to 60, and the movements seem to be delayed, blurred. Motion blur adds blurring to fast crosshair movements, so it limits your ability to spot enemies. Keep it disabled. Triple monitor mode, disable. We are surely not going to use three monitors. So here is the final list of settings that we got. Press a like and subscribe to the channel and we in turn will continue to tell you about various CSGO settings. See you soon!